In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix any Fortnite crash in 9 simple steps, so make sure that you watch this video till the end. Before we start, I just want to say subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helps, and let's start. So the first step is to open this PC, open local disk C or the drive where you have Fortnite installed at, open the program files folder, open the Epic Games folder, open the Fortnite folder, open the Fortnite game folder, go to binaries, go to Win64 and now open the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. Now double click on easy anti chip setup.exe, click on yes and click on repair service. This should take just a couple of seconds and there it is, it says installed successfully and click on finish. Now what you want to do is go back to the win64 folder, double click on the battleye folder and now double click on uninstall battleye.bat, click on yes click on yes again and it says battleye service has been uninstalled and click on ok and now click on install battleye.bat click on yes and there it is you have uninstalled and installed battleye successfully that was the first and second step the third step is to go back to the win64 folder again scroll to the bottom of the folder and as you can see there are four applications like Fortnite Clan Win64 Shipping, Fortnite Clan Win64 Shipping BE, EAC and the Fortnite Launcher. What you want to do now is right click on the Fortnite Clan Win64 Shipping.exe, click on Properties, go to the Compatibility tab and make sure that you have checked the Run This Program in Compatibility Mode for box. So you should check it and set Windows 8. And the second thing what you want to do is check the disable full screen optimizations box. You can also check the run this program as an administrator box but if the game continues crashing after this what you want to do is go back to the properties and just uncheck it. I would advise you to not check this box. So once you check the run this program in compatibility mode 4 and disable full screen optimizations what you want to do is click on apply. Click on OK and do the same steps for the rest of the applications. So the BE, EAC and the Fortnite launcher. And now once you're done you can close the Win64 folder. The next step or the fourth step is to open the Epic Games launcher. Click on the settings icon. Scroll to the bottom of the settings. Click on Fortnite and check the additional command line arguments box. Once you check it, what you want to do is paste the code from the description. So just paste it in there and now after you paste it, you can go back to the Epic Games launcher. The fifth step is to click on the search bar and type REG edit and open the registry editor. Click on yes and now click on HQ local machine, click on the arrow, click on the arrow next to system, click on the arrow next to current control set, click on the arrow next to control and now find the graphics drivers folder. And there it is. What you want to do now is just click on it, right click somewhere in the white space, click on new and click on dword 32 bit value. Name the new D word TDR level with a capital T and a capital L and click on enter. Now what you want to do is double click on the new D word that you created and make sure that the value data is zero and it's in hexadecimal base. You can then click on OK and you can close the registry editor. The sixth step is to copy the code from the description and open a new notepad file and paste it. Once you paste it, what you want to do is click on file, click on save as and just type fortnite.reg. The name doesn't really matter but it must have the .reg extension. 
Once you're done you can click on save and close the notepad file. And now just double click on the new registry file that you created, double click on it, click on yes and click on yes. The next step is to right click on the taskbar and open the task manager. Once you open it what you want to do is find the lightning service process and as I can see I don't have it but once you find it what you want to do is just click on it and click on end task. This was the cause for a lot of Fortnite players for Fortnite for the Fortnite crashes and once you end it your game should be fixed. If it's not then you can continue to the next step which is to open the Epic Games launcher, go to library, click on the settings icon next to Fortnite and just click on verify. This will verify the game files and it shouldn't take long, it should take about a couple of minutes, 10 at least and after that Fortnite will just download all of the files that are missing or that are corrupted and this should fix your game. And the last step is to click on the search bar, type reset this PC and open it. Once you open it, click on get started. And even though this might delete all your files, you can just select keep my files and this will remove the apps and settings but will keep your personal files or you can remove everything. I would advise you to remove everything and that would fix your PC, that would get rid of all the viruses etc. But before you click on remove everything, I would advise you to back up all your data because this will delete everything. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and like this video if it helped. And if you didn't then please comment down below and I'm gonna try and help you. Thanks for watching again and bye.